Trish here, Gardens for Life, we're just planting out our newly cut path. A friend came down with his little flail mower on his wee tractor and mowed us a bit of a path on our Morton Street side. So we're coming along the edge and chucking in a bunch of trees and shrubs, uh, ribbon woods, willows, kind of rooted cuttings that we've had sitting around in a bucket of water for a few months. They may or may not do well, it's uh, you know midsummer, but been so wet that I don't think water's going to be a problem. Digging the holes is just so much moisture down, down there and this is a wet part of our property anyway. Hence the willows and ribbon woods. Um, and some uh, tree fuchsias as well. Trish has got and we're going to chuck in some lupins and other vetch and whatnot at the same time. And just kind of go down and do as much as we can kind of either side of the path with the hope that very quickly it'll start to form a bit of a canopy like it is in our other, down our other path. Yeah, and then that'll just add, add some more structure and help us to think about how we're developing this area. Chucking some green crop seeds in here. Bit of a mixture. Peas, vetch, lupins, oats, radish, maybe a daikon, not sure what that kind of radish that is. Just, uh, get a bit of a mixture of stuff growing. Good luck to you all. Now they're more or less on their own except that because their horses are, hopefully we'll be walking down here fairly regularly. We'll be able to come in and stomp down some of the sedge and grass and stuff as it, as it sort of tries to grow back. Trim it a little bit. Just be able to keep an eye on them. The idea of planting them so thickly like this is that they can kind of all support each other and it means that some things will probably settle in quite well, other things may not settle in as well, but hopefully with this kind of approach we're going to end up with something doing well on these planting holes. I reckon it's a good time to do it too because the sedge is actively growing so we'll be cutting it back and knocking yeah, it back Yeah, a good call because well. from now on the sedge is only going to start kind of finishing up, it's starting to seed already, so once it's kind of done that it's in the autumn and it's all going to die back. Even when the sedge dies back, it's still quite high in here, so it's still quite a reasonable bit of shelf. And uh, yeah, we'll just wait and see. What happens, the ribbon woods seem pretty rugged. Where we've got them planted in other spots, they don't seem to mind the wind. And the willows tend to be pretty tough too. Just be a wait and see as to whether they're going to cope with this uh, change from being in a bucket of water to being in the ground. But honestly, there's so much moisture in there. And the older berries that we put in there are from the gore little, what do you call it? Um, walkway park. Walkway, thing. yeah, the selection of cuttings we've got. Oh, nice. It'll be kind of fun to see those grow. Yeah, there we go. Some nice new development happening over here on Morton Street. <laughs>